Guys, guys, motherfucking guys. Hmm. Where do we start? Where do we start? I just... So yesterday I was busy. I was, um... Yeah, I was busy. And where I was, it just didn't help that the signal was bullshit. So I just about managed to tune in here and there or catch up. But I couldn't record anything. But I said, you know what? I'm going to give an opinion on this one because... At this point, at this point, I'm going to call it for what it looks like. Every opinion I'm given is based off of the videos and the lives and the evidence, let's say, that's been put out there. It's given the show didn't go your way, so you beat her. It's given you guys ganged up because you wanted any reason to prove a point before leaving the country. It's given you guys just wanted to fight, point blank period that's it when i actually heard that there was a fight and i finally located the footage or between where it's been spread because they really think they did something like i don't they think physically attacking lani now finally and the other cast members makes them look good and it doesn't it really doesn't. Now, my opinion may sound my opinion may sound one sided or um, biased, but let's keep it real. You guys were bothered from the get go, bothered from the get go, and you guys were adamant you're not going to leave the country before you hit someone, and you wanted to do that, and you got exactly what you wanted, and it just made you guys look dumb. Like, why are you guys fighting Lani and the other cast members who? have nothing to do with you lot's problem the problem was between you and valentina villa too right but we're yet to see you guys stretch a leg over there you're claiming you guys fought because they pulled up at whatever time in the morning to the villa and didn't say nothing and all these things last time i checked didn't lani pay for the villa where you're claiming to rest your head so who cares about what time she's pulling up it's her villa she paid for it no so why have you got an issue if you've got an issue with how she's conducting her presence in the villa she paid for, pay for your own. Like, I'm really trying to stay mutual. And, oh, they've pissed me the fuck off with that one. I started beating her with a baseball. I licked her in the face with a pan. I started licking it with a pan. I said, I said, Lani, I am going, I'm coming after you. Bro, Lani, I will not sleep until I get to you, bro, because you've done too much fuckery in this place. You've caused too much unnecessary fucking mix-up and so much fucking drama. You've literally come into this villa, spoken shit about every single one of these fucking girls, right? Rub them out to us. Talk about how broke they are. They can't afford their flights. They've scammed you. They've taken your 90 pounds. And then you go back to the villa and do mixy-mixy, bro. Lani, you are a fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot. So I started punching her, punching her. Then I saw her sister behind. I saw her sister in the other car behind. The sister pulled up the window. The sister pulled up the window. I started licking the window, licking the window, but it just wasn't breaking. Like, bro, that's fucking double. That's double glazed. Double that glazed. Wasn't fucking breaking. <laughs> it was not fucking breaking at all. Like, so after that's done now, they've all jumped in the car. But I've heard that Marissa was in the back seat behind Lani. I wish that everybody told me this because I would have opened up the back seat and I would have dragged Melissa out because she did the most talking on me. Melissa went on Instagram, no, on TikTok and said, oh, Fabulous is not ready to fight. Oh, bro, do you know what it is? Guys, let me be real with you. Look. Lani told me that this is a retreat and I'm not allowed to do this. I'm not allowed to do that. She sat me down and she said, Rene, I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing that. I don't want you doing this. I said, okay, she goes, it's a retreat. I want you to show everybody you've changed. You're a better person. Oh, we're going to do yoga. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Every fucking day she'll come to the villa and, and tell lies. But I'm sick of her. Like, she gets on my fucking nerves. So obviously now, I've, I haven't seen Melissa, Marissa, but everybody's telling me, Renee, you know she was she was in the car. You know she was behind Lani. You saw me. You saw me, Marissa. This was your perfect opportunity to beat me up. This was your per per perfect opportunity to fight me. 100%. Like, this was your perfect opportunity to fight me. And you saw me, and you sat there and watched Lani get beaten up in the driver's seat. Lani and everyone's driven off now. Everyone's driven off now. We've jumped in the car. We're chasing them like police officers because we heard police is coming. The landlords come downstairs. Everybody was standing at the front. All the guys, all the camera crew literally grabbed their suitcases and ran. Like... <laughs> When I told you I've never seen something like this before, they grabbed their suitcases and they fucking 
They grabbed their suitcases and they ran. One minute, I got a message. I don't see you. Listen, I didn't need to fight Emil because Emil was frightened out of his life when the security crew, go and watch my story and you will see it. They batted them up and asked for- Hold on, I, I'm saying, can I just say- And furthermore, I don't have an issue with Emil. He was once my friend once upon a time, so I'm not gonna do that. Do you understand? It's because people wanted to mix me and Emil and try and make it look like we had beef. Bearing in mind, I don't need camera time. Yeah, I don't want to be acting ratchet and acting ghetto and looking dumb on a trashy ass show. So what am I sitting down for trying to do mix up with someone that I used to be friends with? I did not come to Croatia <clears throat> to do that. I came to Croatia to, to pattern Shelly and to set the record straight, which is what Blanco told me to say and to voice her opinion. So Blanco told you to come on the show and delegate and pattern something for someone that was never meant to be on the show. Okay. It's on my Insta story, not on Snap. <coughs> Bro. Honestly, let me tell you, Lani, yeah, I have the most hate for that girl in my heart right now. I'm not going to lie to you. This girl has brought these girls to our place four times now without telling us. She just randomly She's brings done them to the house. She's done that. She just takes them, she brings them to the house. And she lies and says that they put her against the wall and say we have to come. <laughs> I don't believe that the girls say I don't believe that the girls will do that. The fucking bitch said, Renee, like you seriously don't understand. These girls that I'm living with are crazy. They apply pressure on me. I'm scared for my life. Every time I try to leave the villa to come alone, they don't let me come alone. They literally attack me. She said they attack me. She said the girls attack, listen, she says the girls attack her every time she leaves the house. She can never leave the house by herself. She can't, because they literally attack her. They don't want her to leave the house. But look, what I'm telling you, the girl's fucking mad. She's fucking mad. I'm looking like, goodies, goodie, you're mad too, I can't lie. I don't know how you manage two of them at once, but it's clock. Two at once, you know. Remember, this is the delegator, the person who was brought to pattern things. Me, I'll take hey, hey, me, blood, can't tell you, they, do you know what it is? Because them were probably chatting shit in the villa about me. They probably, probably oh, yeah, you could probably handle goodie. Hey, when I blood clot showed them about my, the, the fucking fist, don't ever get it twisted because you see a fucking lace front or a lever on top of my fucking head, yeah? And that's why I said, see, anytime I see, because I'm not giving no, everyone that's got their clout, that's been chatting shit for the past couple of days, I'm not entertaining it. I ain't giving no one any more clout. But when I see the butch man in the streets, I will keep it there with C because I don't know you from anywhere and I don't know why you have so much energy for me. When the day before that, Shelly put you in your place when you were standing behind the fence when we pulled up to you guys' villa. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Can I say something though, quickly? Um, everyone's talking about Valentina. Why didn't we have this energy for her? She knows when we was laying our heads and she didn't want that type of smoke. Do you understand? So please stop mentioning her. Something. I am not giving that girl no more clout no more. I sat down and with a bit listen, I sat down and spoken to this girl at the end of the table with the guys literally next to us. Everything's on camera. Do you know what I'm saying? And we had a fucking conversation. Push. Come on social media, she's told you lot something. I'm going to let her run with what she told you. Because when you see the footage, you lot going to all shut the fuck up. She fell in the bush because she waited for me to go upstairs where they've locked me up and SP standing there holding the fucking door, not letting me out. They've locked up the door saying I can't come out until I calm down. She decided, okay, the camera's on now. I'm going to make her run. She's run and literally dropped inside the bush on her face, like on her stomach way. And I'm just not giving that girl any more of my attention because I spoke to Blanco. Me and Blanco had a conversation on the phone and Blanco really said she doesn't understand what is the issue. She said, she said, Rene, you and this girl don't have no real beef. This is ridiculous at this point. This is, doesn't make sense because there's no beef with you and this girl because all three of us was in a phone conversation and we had a phone conversation and it was dead from there. So I don't understand why there's a back and forth, back and forth between me and this girl. That's exactly what Blanco said. Like, at the end of the day, 
Blanca was supposed to be the director of the show, but she she didn't want to go on the show to tarnish her reputation or look bad. Like it's not her, she said, isn't it? So she she told Lani that she couldn't make it. To me, it's definitely given half-hearted. To me, it's definitely given bad for certain people. To me, it's definitely given bad because you have friends. We're yet to see Miss R Fabulous address any other situation with physical violence. With physical violence in any other situation. We hear her run up her mouth. Of course we hear that. But we never actually see Miss R Fabulous get into a fight. Other than Vanessa, look how small Vanessa is. And then you had the little one fight in Jamaica, which wasn't even leaked at her own discretion. So, you know, and even that was bullshit. Shelly's come about and given battery, given boldness. Goody, you need to remember your sector because it's not necessary. It was absolutely, absolutely, now I'm going to clear the words. So my message is not fundled or lost anywhere to the listeners. Yeah? Keep it, keep your ears open and listen. I was highly disappointed in Goody because if you know, you know, but disappointed in Goody, disappointed. You came doing, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that. And it was given exactly what you claimed you weren't going to do. And that goes for all of them because Shelly started off on the same, oh, I'm not going to come on the show and do this. I'm going to show my platform. I'm a businesswoman. And you guys look down bad. You look disgusting. Everyone knows Lani don't fight, but you guys are attacking. Like, I can't. I really can't. Lani is fucking crazy. She literally said, she literally said that, she literally said that she's going to send them home and then come and film with us because she wants to be over here and, feel, and do some lit content. She asked us and I said, Lani, bro, the only way this show can work, and I'm not going to lie, I said it, I said the only way this show can work if you send some of the girls home, and then come and do mix up, mix up. Oh, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. It's just the way I say things. She's sleeping. Is Naya awake? Yeah. She's like, yeah, you go again. I'll come off rather than going there. I'll be back in a bit, Shelly. How the fuck you end this live? How'd you end this live? What are you on? The fuck? Why am my life not ending? I do not agree with fighting people that do not want to fight. I do not agree with fighting people that do not fight back. That's two different things, bearing in mind. Because just because someone has the mouth to run, and when you're physically attacking them, they're no longer fighting as someone that's not fighting back. And I don't care what mouth you've ran. I'll give her one little thump and go about my business. That was so uncalled for. With frying pans. Like, you're talking about they had bottles. I was yet to see a bottle in sight. And goody. Yo, I can't get over it. Like, yo. I'm just going to wrap it up here because I feel bad for them. I feel offended for them. But, you know, it, it's life. It's life. You either become strong to defend yourself over bitches like Renee, Shelly and Goody. Or you remain weak and allow them to walk all over you and feel like they've done something with their little one piece of footage. You guys beat people that weren't trying to fight or weren't involved in the fight. The big one, I guess this is. It's the big one.